welcome to bullets of me so in this lecture we are going to discuss about euler angle representation euler angle representation that comes under rotation matrix so let's first take a point as o here are the three axes that is x y and z so what happens in fixed angle representation as we have started earlier the angle of rotation will be provided on fixed angles or on fixed axis but here the angle of rotation will be provided on the latest axis that we have got earlier okay let me explain this so first let us add an angle of rotation theta 1 along z axis theta 1 so what we will get we will get here a new axis that is let us name it as v1 and here a new axis let us name it as u1 so this frame let us name it as 2 prime or 2 dash and this one the base frame let us name it as 1 okay so on the w1 this is w1 it will come on z axis only because this the this is the fixed axis so for the second step this point is o and three axes this is x this is y this is z so who, what we have got before this is v1 this is u1 sorry this is v dash this is u dash and here only this is w dash so in second step the angle of rotation will be provided on the new axis here that means on v dash so the angle of rotation will be provided here that is theta 2 clear so what we will get we'll get as this is v double dash let us this is w double dash and here this is u double dash okay so this frame is 2 dash and the base frame is one and the lattice frame is two double dash clear so in third step what we will do this is o this is x y and z what we have got before this is w dash and this is v dash and this is w double dash and here this is u dash okay so now and one more is now we'll add an angle of rotation that is theta 3 on this axis this is theta 3 what we'll get okay this is also b double dash so finally we'll get the new axis as w and here the rotation on only so new axis will be the same so this is u 
this is w this is v clear so here this is frame two double dash the base frame is one and this frame is two dash and the new frame is two so we'll calculate the rotation matrix that is r w v u for theta 1 theta 2 and theta 3 it is 1 r 2 is equal to 1 r 2 dash 2 dash r 2 double dash 2 double dash r 2 clear so we can be so it can be written as r w theta 1 r v dash theta 2 r u double dash theta 3 so now r w v u theta 1 theta 2 theta 3 is equal to c1 minus s1 0 S1, C1, 0, 0, 0, 1. So this matrix is for RW, theta 1. Similarly, for RV dash, theta 2, C2, 0, S2, 0, 1, 0, minus S2, 0, C2. Similarly, for RU dash, theta 3, it will be 1, 0, 0, 0 c3 minus s3 0 s3 and c3 here c1 means cos theta 1 minus s1 means minus sin theta 1 c2 means cos theta 2 s2 means sin theta 2 and so on and the final expression will be r w v u theta 1 theta 2 theta 3 i'm writing this the final expression you can multiply it step by step so the final expression will be c2 c3 s1 s2 c3 minus c1 s3 c1 s2 c3 plus s1 s2 sorry s1 s3 here it will be c2 c3 c2 s3 s1 s2 s3 plus c1 c3 c1 s2 s3 minus s1 c3 minus s2 s1 c2 c1 c2 so this is the final expression for rotation matrix in euler angle representation